Hey, this is Electrical Beast, aka the Jointing of Let's Plays, and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Ricochet Infinity. And before I start, I want to say thank you for all the support on the last video. So, let's get this started. And we're actually on the final countdown now. We've only got three planets to go, and these are some of the toughest. And I wanted to get a mouse map for this video, but I actually lost my wallet. And I have to retrieve it from the bank. So, that was bad. But, let's get this started. Vulcan's Forge. Yeah, and before I start, I'm going to be using this ship. Because I think it's best to go with the safe option there. So, let's get this started. So, we've got Skydiver to start off. Let's see what happens there. I like to watch the level as it comes in. It's like, oh, there's the Skydiver. Oh yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I'm not sure what to expect, because this is a difficulty of four stars out of five. So we're on some of the toughest levels right now. If I can get my ball up there. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff up there. Especially if we use our recoil, we can control the ball. Now nah, we do not want fastball. <laughs> not for this anyways. Some cases fastballs out for, but yeah, I don't think it'll be good. Now we got an alien Vader. There we go. And we got some rings. Because as you've seen on the past episode, if you collect more and more rings, you like gain more ranks and you unlock more ships and balls. Plus, it's like a completionist thing. <laughs> there we go. So, how's everyone's Friday been going? I hope everyone's been having a great Friday. Our ball's getting quite fast. Yeah, the longer the ball's on the screen, the faster it gets. So, we need a, like... We do have sort of a time limit. Because... The ball can get so fast, it's pretty much impossible to control. Man, and look at this. This guy, this skydiver has got a lot of defense. Because you have to hit these blocks three times before they can break. If we can get the explosion in there, that'll speed things up. Oh, almost. Okay, now we can get it now. There we go. Almost. There we go, we got it. We got it. Quite a tough start, especially for the first level. And we've got a new ship with a master of the continent. Acid ball and ball generator. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's cool. I think we'll stick with this one for now, though. Alien ship anchor. Oh, we can definitely cheap this level out. We have to do. We have to get it at the right time. There we go. I think that's how the level's meant to be played to get it caught when it's moving. There we go. Got all five gold rings. And a slow ball. Because when the ball gets stuck it actually speeds it up. So without those slow balls our ball would be extremely fast right now to the point we wouldn't be able to control it. But we do have three layers of safety barrier which is a lot of chances, a lot of safety barriers there, a lot of safety nets. Uh, 
And so far I haven't seen many power-ups, so... This world might be quite tough due to the lack of power-ups. Let's get these blocks down there. There we go. It looks like we've got a few up here where the anchor is. And I'm also noticing an increased chance of these alien guys. So that might be another difficulty quirk of this world. Okay, we have one more. There we go. Oh, two more actually. Blended in with the metal blocks. There we go. So far, so good. We got eight iron spears, which is extra lives. So we should get a game over. Quick shot at the rings. Kadoki. Let's try and get it up here. So there is extra balls. There are some ball generators in there. Oh, free ball. We definitely want that. There we go. We're doing a lot of damage right now. <laughs> we definitely want that fireball in the middle right there. Oh my gosh, what is that ball doing? It like got stuck up there. Oh my word. Calm down, ball. Do want the ring up there though. So let's try and get it. There we go. No, you don't. Hit. Oops. Well, there's our first life. <laughs> so we got one life down. Oh, and we just received a life, so that makes up for the one we just lost. Upper center. Ready. Okie dokie. Let's see what my master plan should be. We'll get these. Oh, I see. Maybe it's maybe if we get all these, it'll unlock something. So let's try that. We have to get these two. So yeah, about the wallet, I like, during my walk, I lost my wallet and must have fell out my pocket. But a good Samaritan returned it to the bank. But yeah, the bank's not open today, so I'm going to retrieve it tomorrow. Ooh, get these, the missiles. Because my wallet's quite big and sometimes it falls out of my pocket while I'm walking. And what this laser does, it helps the same. Though sometimes it can be a little bit chaotic. Well, I'm going to turn my sound down a bit. There we go. Yeah, and you need to dodge those missiles because they actually blow up our ship. Before I destroy anything else, let me get this gold ring. There we go. See, just like there, the laser out just right there to aim for the gold ring. Oh, fire in my missile. Was it fire in my laser? Oh, EMT, this is a good power up. Go, then we can get these rings. So look, we have an ex a controlled explosive now. Which clears out a lot of blocks if you get it at the right time. There we go. 
And I can imagine as we go on it, this is going to get more tricky as we go on. This is probably going to get very difficult. Ready. Perfect Pong versus the EMP. Okay. Oh, I see. We're controlling that metal bit up there with our ship. Interesting. But it means we can't get up there. Oh, actually, it's following our ball. Never mind. That means no matter what, our ball will never be able to get past there. So we got to figure a way how to get up, how to get to those blocks. <laughs> I like the sound effects. That's very cool. That is. Dong. Boing. Shield expander. Okay, we need to get the key. We need to unlock this. There we go. Because we can get to the EMP bomb now. I think how we're going to get to these blocks. Because the EMP has like a bomb range. So we have to time this. There we go. Because then we can get to those blocks if we time it well. There we go. That alien just got wrecked. <laughs> Extra life. I wonder how you get to that gold ring though. Oh, that's how. Let's see. Godokin, not too bad so far. Not too shabby. I think it's because I've been playing the Narwhal game re a lot recently. I've been practicing on my mouse movements. Braille Ray Express, choo choo. Oh, that was cool, that effect. So, yeah, those arrow blocks, once you hit them. They go in that direction, and they leave a path of destruction. Just like that, they clear out a lot of blocks. We got a teleport of that, though for once we don't want to teleport, we want to keep up there. So the teleport is for the first time ever an enemy of electrical beast. Maybe, maybe it's the evil teleport, the evil version. Oh, we cleared out quite a lot of blocks there. And those arrow blocks that are spinning, whichever way you hit them, that's the way they... Yeah, they go. Now, I'm really enjoying this Ricochet series. Out of all the series, this is probably my... Maybe a p with a Let's Play Life, this is one of my favourite ongoing series. Really enjoying this. Because there's a lot of direction. Let's get this alien guy. Let's finish up here, shall we? Oh, look at that catch! That was a clutch catch. And that's why the ball catcher is so good. I think we'll take fastball. I think it uh, speed things up a little. This is one of the cases that I don't mind it. Because we do have a lot of things going for us, like the safety bumper. <laughs> wow, let's go fast. We're at a speed of 164. I'm not sure what the max speed is. I think I'm guessing it's 999. Which I can't imagine trying to juggle that speed. Oh, pardon me. Ready. The trigger guard. Let's get it up there before. Ah. Okay. We got it up there. Okay. 
Okie dokie. We need to whip that button up there. Looks like, let's see. Oh, I see. Because now we unlock the electrical ball, which is my favourite on this game. Because I am an electrical beast. There we go. Well, that alien didn't get far. <laughs> he got, like, destroyed as soon as he came out. Oh my word. Poor alien guy. Yeah, and the, the electric actually stacks. The more time you get it, the more powerful the electricity becomes. It has like a higher range and more power. Ah, oh, Mr. Golden Ring. I think that might be the, one of the first levels this world so far that we've missed a ring. Anyways, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take a little bit of a 15 minute break. Because I think this way I can keep fresh throughout the video. So I'll be right back after this commercial. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, and we're back. And that was a good 15 minute break. I went in the back garden and I had one of those cheese rolls. I also had like an orange juice. And I even splashed my face with cold water. So I'm all refreshed and ready to go with level 8. So let's do this. Ready. Mini putt putt. Okay. Oh, that's a cool level. That's a cool design. Do I mitten them at the wrong time? I should be hitting them when, yeah. We go, we've got the Catherine oil and our ball's going fast. We do not want to lose this Catherine oil though. Because that would be bad. So yeah, as we hit those arrows, they actually go all over the place. We have to hit them at the right time though. Just like that, that was a good shot. Let's get some of these rings. There we go. And I've also got a lot of comments saying I should like do a stream one day. And I did do the birthday stream, which was very fun. Though I don't think I would be good at streaming because I would get like burned out probably by the 15 to 30 minute mark. Like it's amazing how these some of these streamers can go for three hours without getting burned out. It is awe inspiring. What have we got next? Time and involved. Okay. So yeah, we got some timing on this one. We got the acid ball. Let's get that safety bumper. Oops, didn't want that. Okay, that should be okay though. So yeah, we have to time it as once it goes in. Because that way we can get a lot of blocks that way. <clears throat> oh, I see. And we can also get the ball slayers if we time it using the teleporters. I see. That's why it's called... That's why it's called time and involve. Ah, um, we almost got it out. But, no. Yeah. Can we get it in there without the teleporters? I think we could. Yeah, we got it. So you can actually get in there without the teleporters. You have to like do it very precise though, where it goes into the little gap. Let's do what the level says. Let's stop being silly about this. Let's try and time this. We'll get rid of this alien guy. Ah, almost. Wait, ball. Definitely want that. We have to juggle all these, though. 
Ah, we missed quite a lot of gold rings on that one. We needed better timing or tweeming, as I used to say, in the TikTok clock levels. Good memories. Trigger moves the rings. Do they now? So they do. Let's get some of these power-ups. We don't want that, that's for sure. Oh, sorry about that, I had a sneeze right there. Yeah, spring is in the air. Especially with how much I've been sneezing recently. A fever. There we go. Well, we actually got that ring before it went back into the the steel bumper. That was some good timing. Speaking of timing, that was some pretty darn good timing right there. Ah, oh, we lost it. Silly me. There we go. Ah, oh, man, that was a tough ring to get up there. But we got four out of five. That's not too bad. We need eight till the next rank. Which we might get in the next two or three levels. Ready. Lucky your shoe. And a lot of these levels are all about timing. So we have to get it in there. You have to watch out for that though. Okay, there we go. Definitely want that. The Catherine Will Power or Blossom. I like to call it Catherine Will though. You can actually break these steel blocks. It takes a lot of a lot of it in them though. Okay. We needed to get that fastball because we would have lost our ball otherwise. Let's get some of these rings, shall we? Because they're right in front of us, there's no reason not to. There we go. So I feel much fresher after that break. And I also it came to me why my commentary is so on point in the Let's Play Life videos, because I'm always outside, so I'm always getting fresh, yeah? So technically I'm always fresh during those videos. See us. What is happening right here? We've got a see us. That is some beautiful artwork. It's Aussie from Pokemon. <laughs> get that. Now, I'm not sure what's the point of having the expanding the ship shield when you've got the safety bumper because that's like way more than the yeah Ooh, okay that was close we almost got blown up there and as you saw in the past episodes we've got blown up a lot by those missiles I'm going to try and juggle these, just so we can get some more bricks destroyed per second. Speaking of, we got this. I love this item, this is a lot of fun. It shoots lasers everywhere, this does. <laughs> Let's get these rings. There we go. We're wait to use this. Never mind. I know, we actually got blown up at the end there, but we already finished the level. 
We got a new ship, probe, ball catcher, and fast. Let's see. Oh, this looks very cool. We'll use this one in the meantime. Ready. Underwater pinball. Let's dodge that. Some very creative levels. And as you've seen by the... Oops. Yeah, I'll actually put the past videos in the description and the link to the game. Alright, I'll put the my first video in the description that I did of this. Episode 1. And there's also a video I did where I played the levels I made a decade ago. So you can actually create your own levels on this game. Which is a lot of fun. Super Ricochet Maker. And this ball is going fast. Too fast. Gotta go fast, but this is a little bit too fast for my liking. Ah. It was bound to happen. Let's clear out these blocks, though, in the meantime. There we go. We want to get that alien guy before he makes it tricky for ourselves. Oh, I see. Once you move them, it changes the order. I see. Do not want that. That's small ball. That actually makes our ball weaker. So we would have to whip these much more times. And I'm silly. I just lost another life. <laughs> silly me. Just get this. Should we try and get this ring before we finish? I think we should. Oops. Come on, we can get you. I know you want to be my part of my collection, Goldwing. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> That's a tricky gold ring to get, and it's taunting me. The Olympic gold medalist. Not a rank. So we've got run around rings. Yeah, and these like these like nudge the blocks to the left or which way the arrow's pointing. There we go, ball generator. So we can have a lot of balls on the screen. Now you have to activate them um, by them touching the ship for balancing, otherwise it would be very overpowered this. balls on the screen. Okay, we need to start aiming this. We've got to get the blocks over there. Yeah, and that freezes our ship. But we didn't lose too many balls from that, thankfully. That could have got a lot worse. Yeah, hey, they're alien. There we go. One more block. There we go. Trigger is the key for help. Okay, let's get the trigger then. Oh, 
turrets surrounded by armor. And so it is. That she blew up the block. It's actually an explosive. So we have to wait it. Okay, and we're back. And I actually had to stop the recording because the ice cream truck just went by. And it was playing copyright music. So even something tiny like that can get your video removed on YouTube, believe it or not. So I had to wait like 5-10 minutes for the ice cream truck to pass, or to get far further away enough for the music to not be played in the recording. So even something tiny like that can get your video removed on YouTube. Be very careful with the copyright stuff. We've got the electric ball, which I want to try and stack this to see how strong we can get this electric ball power. Oh my gosh. I just want to try and see how much we can stack this. Well, that alien just got wrecked. Let's see how powerful this is now. Wow! So as you see, the electric ball actually stacks. It gets more stronger and stronger. Fire in the all! We got fire in the all! Oh yeah, it's funny how things like that can get your video removed just from an ice cream truck passing by. Funny world we live in, eh? That's the way the cookie crumbles though, I suppose. Got the firepower right now. It's fire in the oil after all. That. I'm not sure if the fireball stacks, like if it gets stronger. I think it might do, because we are just doing a lot of power right now. Okay. We already had a clutch catch on this episode, let's not have any more. Because that was too close for comfort. Oops. Ah, I want to try and get some of those gold rings. We've missed quite a lot on this world. Ready. The nuclear age. I think stuff's going down now. And I'm guessing we're going to get acid boy. Yep. Oh, this is going to be cool. Check this out. That was cool, that was. Here we got the nuclear blast. Ah, oh, this is a fun level. I'm enjoying this one. Let's try and get another nuclear blast. There we go. I'm gonna try and optimize it though. There we go. So this is a cool level this is. The one with the nuclear blast power. Let's get some of these gold rings as well. So we've missed so much on this world. We haven't been optimizing our gold ring game, have we? And another thing about my commentary is it changes every video, it seems. Like, I think it depends what type of week I've been having. Like, how I feel. 
like, if I've had a bad week, my commentary can be a bit off. So my commentary, since I do one video a week, my common commentary changes every video. So let's get this. I think we have to clear all the blocks before these bumpers move. There we go. Yep. Oh, the ring comes down. That's good as well. I think we're going to get all the rings on this level for a change. One shot. That was a nice shot. We got that in one shot. Let's get this. There we go. Can we get this alien guy? Ah, wanted to shoot him with the nuclear blast. The boiling cauldron. We got the rings, the rings acting like the steam. That's a cool effect. We've got a switch here, so let's try and get it. There we go. Oh, I see. Every time we press that switch, it changes to the titanium blocks. So we just want to try and avoid that. Where these blocks are much more destructible. Oh, we do not want that. This level will be. T this level's hard enough. That was a good shot with that uh, arrow block. for sure. There's the Mr. Alien guy. He's really been getting his stuff wrecked today on this episode of Ricochet. That alien guy hasn't had a good time today. He's had like all the bad luck. He reminds me of that pre-world car in Mr. Bean. If we were you, 90s kids know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Though I think everyone watches Mr. Bean, because it's on all the time. So I think, yeah, it showed more in the, but it showed a lot in the 90s. Though it's still showing today. Get to the fireball Ready. generator. Okie dokie. and get to it. How are we going to get to it though? Because it's covered in steel. I think I've got a plan. Oh, I see. I see now. If we get that arrow block, it'll clear the path. Then we'll have access to the fireball. There we go. Now we're doing a lot of damage. Let's get the rings. Before we destroy all these blocks, let's try and get some of the... There we go. And some of these blocks down here, they're very tough ones to get. Oh, with a bit of precise... precisity. We got them. That was quite a tough world, that was. 
Jim Lee at Vulcan's Forge. You're on your way to completing the Ricochet Infinity Quest. Keep up the great work. 84, 88% of the rings. That's pretty good because we did miss a few. Okay, okay, we lost four balls. That was definitely the hardest world jet. That was a tough one. And there weren't many power ups. Though on the next one, we've got a five star difficulty world. So that's gonna be fun. And it has 12 worlds, so I'm guessing those 12 worlds are some of the toughest. Because that one had 19, this one has 12. It's one of the least levels. So those 12 levels are probably some of the toughest in the game. So thank you for watching everyone. And I hope everyone had a good time. And I hope everyone has a great weekend and Friday. And until next time, see ya. Bye.